Hey guys, in my last lure painting video, somebody asked, what does it take, what do you need to get started doing something like this? So before we start painting the lure today, we're going to take just a minute and I'll show you some of the things you need to get started. So what do we need to paint a lure? Well, basically, an air gun, paint, and lure. But like everything else, we got to have all this other stuff too, right? Here's what I started with. The Master Airbrush Kit. Pick this up on Amazon for $79. I will leave you a link in the description. It's probably not the top end of airbrush kits, but for $80, bucks, it will get you started and find out if this is what you want to do. And it's the gun itself that is probably the cheap part of this. I mean, buy it for $19. Bucks. You can always buy a better gun later, put it with the compressor, and upgrade your whole system down the line. We need paint. For paint, it's pretty much all from Hobby Lobby, and it's Createx. Createx comes in either opaque, transparent, pearlized. I use all three. Usually it's thin enough it'll shoot through the gun, but sometimes you may have to thin it just a little. Beyond that, it's Walmart. Apple brand, 50 cents a bottle. This is not really designed for the airbrush. The paint pigments a lot bigger flakes. Sometimes they will plug up your airbrush and <laughs> deal you a fit. These are real thick, will definitely have to be thinned a lot. Kind of a pain, but a lot of colors and they're only 50 cents a bottle. Once my lure is painted, I want to put a sealer on it. I use a two-part epoxy glue. This is Bob Smith, picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's a 30-minute, so give me a little time to put it on, mix them up, a nice, hard, clear finish. While we're painting, a helping hand, something with the clamps on the end to hold on to your lures. A lot of people use those. I kind of like a 99 cent plastic clamp. Bought mine at Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot have them too. I drill some holes, I can hang them up, it works real well that way. Heat gun. Uh, the Createx paint hardens better under heat. So you can have a heat gun if you've got a hair dryer, a hair dryer works. I picked up the Wagner heat gun, it didn't cost very much. Again, I can leave you the link in the description. And then, the lures. Basically, that you're going to do online for the blanks. Um, Barlow's Tackle, lure parts online, Predator Baits, Dinger are four that all have some pretty good lures. You can find them on Amazon, and they're pretty cheap, but be a little careful. I bought a 25 pack of these, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not. There's little brown spots on the side. That's rust. Because out of 25 of them, 10 of them leaked. So, watch the cheap stuff. Sometimes that doesn't work real well. That'll get you started. Then after that, it's just go practice and go paint. So, I got a lure we're going to paint real quick now. And today, we're going to think outside the box just a little. Now, in the summertime, when we're dealing with soft plastics, a real popular color is June Bug. Got a little purple, you know, dark blue, maybe black, might even be a little tinge of green in there. But you see a lot of skirts, crawdads, worms, all in that June Bug color. But we don't see a crankbait. So today, we're going to paint a June Bug crankbait. To save us a little time, I went ahead and put a base coat of black on this lure first. Now I use the base coat of black because I'm going to wrap this lure like I did my last one so I want the black to show through. If you're not wrapping your lure, if you're just painting it for a base coat, then I would use a white opaque for the base coat and then just go ahead and paint whatever colors you want over it. But because I'm going to use the wrap, I did it in black. So we got that started, let's put a wrap on it quick. Basically, all I'm going to do here is going to lay it in. I kind of hook that back a little bit. I pull it up, get both sides pulled up as tight as I can, pull that top end down a bit, and then I use just some hairbreadth clips. I got to get out of the camera a little to get it on there that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Pull the back end down tight. There we go. And there we go. We've had it. I got my uh, 
cover over the top, and we're ready to go from there. As I said, if you weren't wrapping this lure, you'd want a white base so the top paints will show through better. So what we'll do now is give it a white base. We'll paint over this with white. And we're just going to want a good, even coat of white. Get all that black covered up. Once I have the white base coat on, we'll go ahead with the heat gun. Dry that good before we move on to the next step. Alright, back to our June bug color. We've got some purple, I got some blue black, and like I said, those little green flakes. What we're going to use, the black is going to come from the underside that we painted on the base. So we'll use a pearlized plum, and we're going to use a pearlized blue. We'll put that on, we'll see where we go from there. Alright, the plum we're going to want to put along the belly down here, and then we'll bring the blue on from the top. So, And in this case, I'm trying to do everything from front to back. I'll go up maybe halfway up the lure. It's kind of a lateral line mark. About halfway up because I'll come back down and cover some of that. And that'll give me my spot where the two colors merge. Alright, that's what we'll do for the plum on the bottom. All right, we have our plum at the bottom. Now we're ready to go with a pearlized blue on top. Now this blue might be a little lighter colored than you can see up here in the skirt, but we have the black that's going to show up underneath it. So I don't want to make this blue too dark or we'll lose it. So we're going to go with a little bit lighter blue. And again, hey, we're making our own thing. Doesn't that be perfect, right? Now from here, I'm going to go front to back but I'm going to kind of come from the side and go down so that way it lightens up as we go along the side and you get the colors to blend a little better. We'll go pretty straight at it from the front, but once I get to where I'm going to bleed down the side, I want to keep that gun pointed down so I get a little better blending of the colors. Blend down a little farther, I think, because I want to lighten, I want to darken that up. That's a little too light. So what I'm going to do is darken it up a tad with the blue here by hitting it just real lightly. There, that gives me a chance to blend it down a little bit better. All right, now we'll dry that. Now just remember guys, when you're using any sort of wrap like this, you want to make sure you've dried that really good before you start pulling the wrap off. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if some of that black is going to show through or where we stand. Alright, there we go. Got some of the black coming through. We got our lighter color on the belly. With that Putting the blue the, uh, over the top of the plum really kind of darken that side up really good. I got just a little bit. I kind of like that, but as I said, there's also a little green in here. So let's see if we can put a little green on this and match that up. So how do we get the green? Well, I have a little green uh, opaque Createx paint. I've got a toothbrush. What we'll do is we'll just dab the toothbrush in Try a test spot over there. There we go. And then just flick it towards the lure. And you might not see this too well from that, but we'll come back. There we go. And let's see if we can get that up where you can see it. 
and we'll have just some green flecks in there. We don't want much. It didn't have a lot. But that just gives a few green flecks to go along with it. Now, we need a set of eyes. We'll put a top coat on it. Well, there we have it, guys. My Junebug crankbait. Now, I didn't show the eye placement or the top coat on, but you can go to any of the other painting videos and see that. So we got a pearlized blue, a pearlized plum, the black. We got the green flakes. Of course, the key is, will it catch fish? And hopefully we'll find that out next week. So thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.